Well, spring is a great time to get active, but where do you start and how do you stick with a routine? Health coach Sarah Bloom is joining us this morning with how you can stay well this spring. Good morning and thanks for being here. Morning, happy spring. Yes, well, there's some great things to be talking about because I think most of us are kind of been in hibernation for winter. And now <laughs> once the weather starts to change and everything starts to green up, we are starting to think more about being outdoors and enjoying our health. You've kind of put together six, I guess, healthy suggestions to kind of get started. Let's talk about what is the best kind of exercise. Well, you know, there's so much talk about exercise. There's so many different options. And what I like to encourage people to do is the best kind of exercise for you is the kind you're going to actually do. And that sounds simple and silly, but if you absolutely despise running, I'm not saying you never want to push yourself, but maybe don't sign up for a running club, right? right. Do something that you grew up doing. Like I, I go back to myself, I've gotten back into Zumba because I grew up dancing. And for me, it's not just great exercise, but it brings me so much joy. Maybe you love to ride a bike as a kid or a teenager, get back on that. Maybe you played tennis, get back and, and do that. Or maybe try the pickleball craze which is huge and so fun so I think it's something that you need to look forward to and something that you actually have fun with I think um, a lot of times I know particularly I've made it a goal to walk every day but the thing yeah. is is sometimes you don't get your uh, heart rate up fast enough and so finding the right kind of exercise something that you do are willing to do and you mentioned pickleball I just started that about three weeks ago so yeah. now I found something that's getting my heart rate up I'm enjoying it and I'm looking forward to doing it which is most of the time, if you talk about exercise, people go, oh, I don't, I don't, well, I don't look forward to that. Right, right. So that's the thing. You, you've picked up on exactly what we're talking about. It's something you're having fun with. You're playing with other people, so that encourages you to go. And you get that social connection. And you're pushing yourself more than you might if you were on an elliptical or at home doing something. That's why I like to go to classes. Maybe go back to the Y again now that we can hopefully for a long time, you know, and uh, my teacher pushes me more than I push myself. So it's, it's a great way to get back into that. It's not just aerobic activity though. There's so much more involved with kind of the overall health and well-being of your body. Yes, so according to the experts um, at Harvard, um, the four areas that we want to focus on are aerobic, which we've just kind of talked about, um, but there's also the, the strength training. So that means as we, as we age, we lose muscle mass, it's very common. So that doesn't necessarily mean you need to go pump weights, although if you are interested in that, it's a great way to, to help with your muscles, but you can also do um, just weight bearing, your own weight. So that's like lunges and push-ups and things like like that and then you know we really the third one is stretching which is so hard to do sometimes it's so important especially if you have been pushing your muscles in that way um, and the fourth is balance as we age balance becomes really important um, and that's things like yoga or Pilates or Tai Chi is is kind of made a big wave in the United States you might be surprised that it's available in a lot of places you also so. recommend getting movement outdoors or back in nature what are the benefits there yeah, especially as the weather gets warmer and, and we see everything blooming, um, there is 100% just uh, scientific evidence that being outside just improves our mood. Getting vitamin D increases serotonin, that happy feeling. It helps us to lower stress. So even if it's just a lunch hour walk or something, or maybe you get up with the sun or right after dinner, but just having that time outside, connecting with the earth and um, just spending that time is gonna make you feel even better. We mentioned being with a friend, finding a buddy. That's kind of the accountability. And here in uh, Tulsa and Green Country, we have a lot of outdoor space to enjoy. Guthrie Green, the Gathering Place, Turkey Mountain. Uh, all of these places are great areas to kind of get plugged in. 100% and Tulsa is so cool and I read that um, Guthrie Green has Zumba classes and that the Gathering Place is hosting um, exercise classes once a week. Um, I think it's by bar three and it's for all ages, all levels. So what a fun way to get going. Take a friend with you, go outside and how pretty would that be? The final thing is something that the morning show team constantly talks about and it just doesn't achieve getting good sleep. Yes, and I, I put that on there because if we're talking about staying healthy, 
Sleep is how we recover. It's how our body recovers. It's how we metabolize our food. Um, and so if you're pushing yourself super hard at exercise and you're eating really healthy and then you're just getting four hours of sleep, you won't see the benefits that you want to see. So if you can prioritize seven to nine hours of sleep as many nights during the week as you can, put your phone away, all screens away, but 30 minutes before you go to bed, make it a really, you know, zen environment. Um, that's the goal because sleep is how we stay healthy. Sarah Bloom, appreciate all these tips today. Maybe Earth Day will be the day we can all kind of start our new plan. Perfect timing.